Are you guys ready for the absolute worst photos I've ever seen in a martial arts book? Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to Fighting Words, where I review martial arts books and talk about other martial arts related subjects. And today I'm going to be reviewing Chinese Praying Mantis Boxing. There are two volumes of this. I'm going to be covering them both in one go. They are compiled and edited by H.C. Chow. I don't know anything about that person. I've tried to look them up. The thing with the most information was a, a vendor site called Plum Pub that sells Chinese martial arts books. And, and they reviewed these books already. Pretty tersely. Um, they didn't have anything available on Chow. I don't know whether it's Mr. or Mrs. Or Miss. Or gender neutral. I'm not sure. Anyway. These are two volumes. The second printing of volume one was put out in 1983. And the... Second printing of Volume 2 was put out in 1986. Now, what Plum Pub says is that the, the, the original publishing company would take um, books that had already been published and then translate them and then take photographs and have people going through the motions of the different things. And as I mentioned right up front, the photographs are sort of awful because what happened was that this is, again, the 80s. This is before certainly digital Photoshop. Um, what they would do is they'd take pictures of the people doing the forms and stuff, and then they would cut out the backgrounds. <laughs> so, like, I don't know what's going on with this guy's foot. <laughs> This, these are bad. These are bad. These are, when it comes to the photo quality, unfortunately, as I mentioned, the absolute worst I've ever seen in any martial arts book ever. But as far as the rest of the material goes, so volume one, volume one. Oh, it's too much light. Okay. So this goes over among other things, the the basics of the the Mantis history, it goes over the jab and punch set, and it goes over some breathing methods that, to me, they're not called uh, Qigong, but they definitely seem very Qigong-like. They, they are called Ai Qin Qing. I don't know what that translates into, but again, definitely resembles Qigong. Like I said, the bulk of the book is on the what they refer to as the jab and punch set. And after we get solo demonstration, then we get the some of the applications of it. Now, a benefit of this book is that it actually does include a fold-out page. Ta-da! So you can actually see the whole thing, and you can use that to reference the specific techniques contained therein. And I, I do think that that's helpful. And a lot of the techniques involve things like, you know, foot sweeps, you know, simultaneous grabs and strikes. As far as sets go, I, I could see a lot of practicality actually in this set. Now, as far as the second book goes, it actually does go a lot more in depth into the the history behind the this particular style of mantis kung fu. So that's an upgrade, um, and it also starts going over two person exercises, and those seem to be done both for conditioning and also for sensitivity. You know, it, it has the drill where you're, like, striking your forearms against your partner's forearms in order to toughen them up. 
and also some where you're, you know, making contact with them and then as they move you're adjusting to that so not really along the lines of like Wing Chun's Chi Sao training but you know still very much about feeling where the opponent is going and adjusting to that and that's followed by a, a striking form that includes applications as well as two two-person forms and I know I'm keeping this brief, but the books are brief. The, the first one is, in fact, not quite 70, not quite 76 pages. Anyway, so time to go into the pros and cons. <laughs> As far as the pros go, I actually think between these two books, it works okay as an intro into Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Um, I, I do like that there's an inclusion of things you don't always see in Kung Fu books, like you got your breathing exercises, which may or may not be common depending on what art you're doing. Um, I appreciate that there are two-person forms. You know, it's not quite sparring, but it is somewhere between practicing solo and actually engaging in sparring exercises. I think when it comes to the cons, the the most obvious one is just the the awful, awful, awful photographs. They're just they're terrible. They're I'd say they're lazy, but somebody had to actually go through and cut these out, which is more effort than it was ever worth, I think. Uh, I also think that because there's a distinct absence of showing the individual techniques, that a reader might be missing out on a little bit. I mean, they're obviously included in the forms, and I think that they get, for the most part, an adequate description. But by the same token... The format for most martial arts books begins with, okay, here are your basic blocks, here are your basic punches. Ready? Here's how to put those together in a solo form. These books just jump straight into the solo forms, you know, and again, maybe as a reader you can pick up some of the stuff from there. I don't think it's going to be really that hard, but a lack of showing the individual techniques before you get to the forms just makes it seem a bit disorganized to me. So who would I recommend this for? Mm. If you are like me and you're trying to have some information on just about all martial arts out there, I think that this might be a good set to, to grab if you can get it for pretty cheap. Overall, though, not to be unkind, because as much as I'm bagging on it, I'd rather not be unkind there are probably better books out there when it comes to Chinese Kung Fu forms, when it comes to Mantis style. These are what I got because I didn't know any better and I found an ad for them. So I bought them. Um, if you can find them, again, it's I would say that it's better than nothing. I appreciate the fold out. You know, all the pros I mentioned, like it's an okay introduction. It's disorganized, it's sloppy. But it shouldn't put you out too much when it comes to money. So in that regard, if you're paying less than $10, then it might be worth getting these if you have zero background in Mantis Kung Fu and you're curious about Mantis Kung Fu. Although now we have the internet and you can probably just go on YouTube and look it up. Anyway... I hope I didn't make that too much of a downer. I'd actually rather not do that. I, I do think the terrible, terrible photos are hilarious. But outside of that, I'm, I'm not here to, like, rain on anyone's parade. Um, yeah. Uh, they're just... They're just not very good books, unfortunately. But anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.